Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Prayer. I hope that I'm, I'm actually going to check right now to make sure that I'm actually live um, and you can see me. Okay, you okay. can. All right. Um, <laughs> so I am actually uh, joining all of you in a different location this morning. Sorry. Um, I am actually at St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Baltimore, uh, Baltimore City, and uh, came here for a pericope um, Bible study and uh, didn't want to try to rush back. So I'm gonna, we're gonna have the prayer here and then uh, a very brief prayer. And then I have to head back to Ellicott City before the storm hits. <laughs> so <laughs> this would be a very um, kind of brief prayer, but also I'm glad that you can join us. So thank you for whoever shows up today and I look forward to praying with you. So today, um, I'm not going to start with this scripture. Um, just going to share something a little bit with you and then uh, start with a song and then read a prayer um, that was written, um, a prayer called In the Storm, which I think is um, very appropriate right now. <laughs> as Hurricane Ida has already made her mark in uh, Louisiana and the seats around and is moving her way over and we are um, about to be hit with a storm. So I just, um, I'll do that after um, this little reflection and um, a little song. Um, and the, just so that I can go seamlessly into the prayer, um, this prayer was written by Father James Martin. Um, I find a lot of these prayers from the um, jesuitresource.org um, and they have all these beautiful prayers from different traditions and people who write um, different things for different occasions and this one just seemed very appropriate. So we're gonna end with that prayer. But in the meantime, um, I just wanna share something. Hi Sharon, peace, love and hope to you as well. Um, so yesterday, um, Sometimes I get like a peaceful moment, <laughs> oftentimes, um, where I can meditate and pray and think through um, life. And um, I was specifically trying to get myself in a good headspace to work on sermon for Sunday. Um, and part of that meditation, uh, I was reminded um, it was a meditation I was listening to. I was reminded of one of my favorite poems um, by Mary Oliver um, called Wild Geese. Um, and it's beautiful um, in so much that uh, it's a reminder um, that you can just be who you are <laughs> um, and that what you need is already available um, and that we can share in each other's lives and each other's um, grief and each other's good times and joy um, that there can be a beautiful exchange of sharing of ourselves with each other um, and that it's okay to be who you are. Uh, it's a very beautiful uh, poem that I love very much. Anyway, uh, but listening to that yesterday kind of prepared me for like today and thinking about prayer time um, and what we are experiencing right now, right? Um, a literal storm, <laughs> right? Um, that has affected many, already has affected um, many of our neighbors um, across the country. 
Um, and a storm that's like more of a metaphor, right? Um, we've just been dealing with a lot, seeing a lot, maybe, maybe not dealing, maybe some of us have been um, kind of safely living in our own spaces, right? So we're not necessarily um, directly affected by certain things, yes? Um, even though I still think that we are all affected by <laughs> what's going on in our world. Um, some of us might be less affected in terms of financially, in terms of our physical health, in terms of all these things, right? So we can kind of live in our own bubbles and stay kind of safe, right? Um, but <laughs> this storm, we all are in it, um, metaphorically <laughs> and literally. And today is a really good day um, for us to remember that. Um, in our, I think we're often reminded of our responsibility, right, in things. But we also have a, like, there's something there for us to receive. Um, and to share, right? Um, and, you know, we often name that like love, God's love, yes, 100%. And it's just a part of our, the human experience, right? Um, to be able to share our humanity, to share in the struggles of others, right? Um, to remember not just people we know, but people we don't know, to remember that other human beings are affected by what is going on in this world. And that, that, that's a storm too, right? So anyway, I'm rambling a little bit, but I hope you get the gist of what I'm trying to say, um, our connectedness, why we gather. Why do we gather on uh, the days that we do to pray? Right. Um, sometimes it's for encouragement, yes, of our own of our own needs, and I hope it's because we believe that when we gather, when we recognize our connectedness, um, and when we think about what is happening in our world, that this is a small part of that work of loving and caring for our neighbors and, you know, and trusting in the fact that we get to come together and pray and speak and, you know, well, more me speaking or Pastor Mike speaking, but engage in this moment of, of prayer um, and remembering and honoring and um, being truthful about what's going on in the world. So just wanted to offer that <laughs> as a small reflection. I'm glad that um, we get to do this uh, when we do. All right. If you are not already, please, you know, be as comfortable as you can. Ground your feet. Um, let us begin with a song. Today's song is going to be What We Need Is Here. It was composed by Amy McCreeth. Um, and it, the words are what we need is here. It's just a beautiful reminder as we travel through and experience this storm. Okay. <laughs> what we need is here. What we need is here. What we need is here. 
what we need is he what we need is he what we God of the universe, at the dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. You created the oceans and rivers and all that dwell within them. And at your word, the wind and the waves were born. The seasons followed your plan and the tides rise and fall on your command. In both calm and storm, you are with us. On the Sea of Galilee, even when the disciples begin to fear, Jesus showed that he was Lord over the waters by rebuking the storms, so that all would know that even the wind and the waves obey him. Creator God, we ask you to calm the wind and the waves waves of the approaching hurricane and spare those in its path from harm. Help those who are in its way to reach safety. Open our hearts and generosity to all who need help in the coming days. In all things and in all times, help us to remember that even when life seems dark and stormy, you are in the boat with us guiding us to safety. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you so much uh, for joining me. I'm going to actually head out so that I can get back home in Ellicott City and hopefully avoid the wind. Um, yes, may God's peace, around, uh, peace and love surround us in every way. Amen, Sharon. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Please be safe um, if you are in Virginia and Maryland. And I think, is there another state that's being hit right now? Um, please be safe. <laughs> um, and uh, special prayers and love goes out to our beloved in Louisiana. Um, it's quite troubling over there right now. So. All the goodness. Y'all have a good day. Peace, y'all.